Hey guys, Derek here from NAFLAB. Today we're taking a look at the Nest Bedding Puffin Mattress. How did it do in our tests? Let's go ahead, find out now. Let's start by taking a high level look at the Nest Bedding Puffin, who it's best for, what it feels like, and why you might want to buy it. The Nest Bedding Puffin Mattress is a mattress specifically designed for kids 110 pounds or less. It uses a combination of poly foam and sport foam for a balanced feel with a slimmer 7 inch thick profile. It's thinner than most adult mattresses, but because it's made for younger sleepers, this thinner profile tends to work well and also keeps the costs down too. The Nest Bedding Puffin Mattress did well during our testing series, receiving an overall score of 9.39 out of 10. It scored a 10 for ultra fast response time and a 9.9 .9 for off gassing. The company was also a 10 and has great consumer friendly policies. Motion transfer was very low with a score of 9.8 and it had great edge support at a 9.5. Pressure release struggled a little with a score of only 9.0, which is likely attributed to its thinner profile. There just isn't a lot of comfort material there. Cooling was also a little lower at 8.5, but still an acceptable score given that sleeping hot generally isn't an issue for children. The Nest Bedding Puffin comes in one firmness, 7.5 out of 10, where 10 is the most firm. This is a little firmer than a medium, but not quite considered firm. For kids, a slightly firmer mattress is usually better suited to their needs. The Nest Bedding Puffin is best for kids 2 to 12 years of age. It has a super fast response time so kids don't feel stuck. In addition, the edges are surprisingly supportive, which can be nice for parents sitting on the edge of the bed or tucking little ones in. One of the most important considerations of the Puffin mattress is sleeper age. The mattress would probably not be suitable for a bedroom that is even occasionally used for adult mattresses. Nor would I recommend it for preteens or to send kids off to college with. At only 7 inches thick, there's just not enough material there to provide good pressure relief or support for adult bodies. Regardless of your child's sleeping position, if they are 110 pounds or under, the Puffin should be adequately supportive. The mattress fast response time, deeper hug, and contour gives it a good balance for most young sleepers. Next up, we're going to move on to our individual performance tests. At NAPLAB, we test each mattress by analyzing according to 8 different factors that impact feel, comfort, and performance. First up, we have our cooling test. To measure cooling, we lie on the mattress for 15 minutes, allowing it to absorb body heat. Then, we get off the mattress and take measurements of the surface level temperature. Cooling on the Nest Bedding Puffin Mattress is good, just not great. During our test, I definitely felt a noticeable level of heat retention and warming. It wasn't a crazy hot level, but it also wasn't nothing. Looking at the design and material construction, it makes sense. The mattress is 7 inches thick, and 5 inches is a denser support foam base. As a result, there's a fair sizable percentage of total foam that has the propensity to absorb and retain more heat. While the Puffin mattress does utilize a 2 inch layer of Interjex on top, it's not a thick enough comfort layer to prevent heat retention issues. With all that said, we should note that our cooling test utilizes my adult sized body on a kid sized mattress. As a result, it's not all that surprising that there were some heating issues. For adults that may sleep on the Puffin mattress from time to time, the cooling could be noticeable. However, for kids the cooling is less likely to be an issue. Children's relative size and weight just don't put as much pressure or heat into the mattress as an adult sized body is going to. In our pressure point sinkage test, we measured 2.33 inches of sinkage on the Nest Bedding Puffin mattress. This is slightly deeper than the average across all the mattresses we've tested to date, which is 2.22 inches. Quite frankly, I expected far more sinkage on the Puffin mattress. With only 7 inches of total mattress thickness, the Puffin has its work cut out for it when it comes to supporting an adult body. However, the mattress really did a fantastic job. It allowed plenty of sinkage to create appropriate levels of pressure relief, but still has fantastic support capable of supporting even adult weights. To test motion transfer, we place one 12 pound medicine ball on one side of the mattress and drop another 12 pound medicine ball on the opposite side. In addition, we use an accelerometer to measure the motion generated by the drop. Motion transfer on the Puffin mattress was moderate. In our motion transfer test, we measured a total acceleration range of 8.93 meters per second squared. This is a good bit higher and worse than the average acceleration range of 5.89 meters per second squared. A motion transfer acceleration range of less than 5.0 meters per second squared can be considered quite low. 
While motion transfer in general won't always be as important for children, it still can be an impact for children whose movements during the night could wake them up or for kids who share a bed. To test response time, we place a 12 pound medicine ball on the mattress. Once it's fully at rest, we then quickly remove it and demonstrate the amount of time it takes for the mattress to recover and resume its original shape. Response time on the nest bedding puffin was lightning fast. In our test, we measured a mostly recovered response time of 0.2 seconds and a fully recovered response time of 0.3 seconds. This is as fast as a mattress really ever gets. The puffin mattress is tied with a number of other mattresses for the fastest response time we've tested to date. A fast material response time ensures sleepers never feel stuck in the mattress and it aids with ease of movement. To run the bounce test, we drop a 12 pound medicine ball onto the mattress. We measure the maximum depth the ball sinks to before rebounding up, as well as the maximum height it achieved on the bounce. Bounce on the puffin mattress was moderately low. In our bounce test, we measured a total bounce height of 7.66 inches. This is a good bit lower than the average bounce height across all mattresses we've tested to date, which is 9.40 inches. Looking at the material construction of the mattress, this bounce level makes sense. The five inch layer of support foam is not designed to return significant levels of bounce, so that just leaves the two inch layer of polyfoam. While the puffin isn't the type of mattress you should be jumping around on, for most children, it's going to be perfectly acceptable level of bounce. It's enough bounce to feel comfortable, but not enough to make it a play gym. For an assessment of edge support, I lie on and sit on the edge of the mattress to measure the level of support and compression. Edge support was surprisingly good on the puffin mattress. I say surprisingly because generally thinner mattresses, really anything less than 10 inches, perform worse when it comes to edge support. In our sitting edge support test, we measured four inches of compression. This is notably better than the average compression of 4.68 inches. To be fair, four inches of compression on a seven inch mattress is more relative sinkage than the vast majority of mattresses we've tested to date. Even so, I still felt that the mattress fully supported my weight and was not collapsing. If it's able to support an adult sitting weight, then there's no question that it will be sufficient for children. It's the type of mattress you could sit on the edge to read bedtime stories without worrying that you're going to damage the edge or be rolled off the mattress. Lying edge support is good, just not great, which really makes sense given the materials. Given how thin the mattress is, it really has got a pretty good lying support. For kids, it should be more than sufficient. The material components, quality, and comfort layer thicknesses are all critical factors to pressure relief. Other factors that further affect pressure relief are body weight, body type, and sleeping position. Pressure relief on the Puffin mattress is good, just not great. The Puffin utilizes a quilted cover and two inches of comfort material. While the comfort layer is doing as good as it can, at the end of the day, it's still pretty thin. That said, for kids, the thicknesses of the comfort material should be enough, at least until they start to get bigger, say around age 12. However, adults who need to sleep on the mattress in a guest bed type of situation may find the pressure relief just isn't there. To evaluate off-gassing, we monitored the mattress following the initial unboxing, taking a subjective measurement of any strong lingering smells. There was a minor smell upon the initial unboxing and that lingered for just one day. Overall, this is great performance. On average, we see that most new mattresses have a strong smell that lingers for 2.74 days. Not having to worry about a significant off-gassing period is a big win for the Puffin mattress. Most kids should be able to sleep on the Puffin mattress immediately after unboxing. Nest Bedding first launched in 2011 with an online marketplace as well as a brick and mortar store. They have continued to grow online as well as opening more physical stores. As a company, Nest Bedding offers a long 365 night trial period, lifetime limited warranty, and free shipping and free returns. They currently offer two different mattresses made specifically for kids the Puffin and the Lark, and a handful of mattress options for adults. I would recommend the Puffin mattress for child sleepers who are 110 pounds or less. This mattress has a thinner profile and is specifically designed for kids. I would not recommend this mattress if there will be any adults sleeping on it or if your child will reach 110 pounds anytime soon as they will likely outgrow it. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Comments, questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the Puffin mattress, we've got a link in the description. For more from NapLab, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at naplab.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.